Today I'm going to make a green smoothie using Earthbound Farm Organics greens basically. So these are two items that I got at Costco this week. They have a big bag of mixed baby kale and then they have a, a big container of baby spinach, which are two ingredients that are perfect for a green smoothie. So what I've done is rinse those off. Um, and since it's going into a smoothie, there's really no reason to put it through a, um, salad spinner to get the extra moisture off because I actually want that extra moisture. And all I did was include a handful of spinach and a handful of kale. So um, that's what's going in there. Now, in addition to that, um, I am putting a chunk of ginger, which I keep frozen in the freezer in a plastic bag that has I also peel it before I put it in the plastic bag. So this is a pretty good chunk. I'd usually use half of it, but as you can tell, I wasn't able to cut it in half. So this is going to be a lot of ginger in my smoothie. Um, I also include uh, organic celery root and um, I don't care if there are leaves. I don't have to worry about that because it's all going to taste the same. And then I include an apple. Um, this is a honey crisp apple, but uh, usually a green apple is what you use in a green smoothie, but that's I had a honey crisp on hand. Now um, I'm also going to add some lemons. And all I do is just add the lemon juice. I squirt it in there. So once you have all those squirted in, um, you can also add any other kinds of powders or um, additives like, um, I like to put chia seeds, um, they're a good source of omega-3 into my smoothies. They don't taste like anything and um, they'll give me some extra nutrients. So I add that in. I actually get these from for free at CVS Pharmacy, so I'll include a link in this video um, where you can learn how to do that. There's a guide to couponing that you can check out to get these for free. They cost 17 bucks otherwise. Um, I think they also sell chia seeds at Costco if you're a bulk buyer. So I'm gonna add. Um, also, amazing greens with or amazing meals, amazing green blend. It's just a good way to get um, more protein, greens, fruits, and veggies into this without adding a lot of volume. So I just get a scoop of this, and I keep this in my refrigerator, and it lasts for months. Then I'm going to add some ice cubes and some water and we'll get going. Okay, so I've added some ice cubes as well as some water and I'm going to turn it on to get it going. So with the Vitamix you turn it on and then you want to increase the speed level. And this might need some more water and maybe a little bit of a tamper. I don't need to tamper anything and we'll turn it all the way up. And then on high. Turn it all the way back down and off. And then this is what it looks like. So it's pretty green. The taste of this smoothie, um, which I make all the time, is very similar to the taste of um, like a Bloody Mary because of the celery and the ginger really makes it taste like a Bloody Mary to me. So I wonder if you added horseradish sauce, if it would make any difference. 
so I have this for lunch um, almost every day. It makes me feel good and um, keeps enough room in my stomach for dinner. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you like to learn about stuff like this, please don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we feature recipes and healthy products all the time. Thanks so much. For